Hello, how are you doing? Have you heard the term MP neuron? Well, if not, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I'll quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so what is the MP neuron? Well, the MP neuron was developed in 1943 by Warren McCullough and Walter Pitts and was presented in their paper, A Logical Calculus of the Ideas Imminent in Nervous Activity. I shared a PDF link to their paper in the YouTube description. The MP neuron is a simple mathematical model of a biological neuron. It represents a basic model of how neurons in the brain might process information. Despite its simplicity, it laid the foundation for the development of modern artificial neural networks. Here are some key characteristics of the MP neuron. The MP neuron receives several binary inputs, which are either zero or one. The MP neuron produces a binary output of a zero or one. Each binary input is multiplied by a weight, which can be positive or negative. These weighted inputs are summed up and the total is compared to a predefined threshold. If the sums of the weighted inputs exceeds a threshold, the neuron fires and produces an output of one. If the sum is below the threshold, the neuron does not fire and outputs zero. So what are the MP neuron's limitations? The first one is there is no learning algorithm. The MP neuron does not have a mechanism for learning or adapting its weights. The weights and threshold are fixed. The second is linear separability. It can only solve linear separable problems, meaning that it can't handle more complex tasks like the XOR problem. Now, the MP neuron can simulate basic logical operations like AND, OR, and NOT, which made it particularly interesting for early computational theory. Let's look at using an MP neuron to implement a logical AND gate. Here's a truth table for the AND gate. You can see to implement an AND gate, if both inputs are one, then the output is one. Otherwise, the output is zero. To implement an AND gate using the MP neuron, you will need to set the weights and threshold as follows. Set the input weight W1 to one and W2 to one, and then set the threshold value to two. So with these settings, let's look at the MP neuron's activation condition. The MP neuron will output a value of one only if X1 times W1 plus X2 times W2 is greater than or equal our threshold value of two. Otherwise, it will output zero. If both x1 and x2 are set to one, then the sum of our weighted inputs does meet our condition of greater than or equal to the threshold value of two. Therefore, the MP neuron outputs a one. If only x1 or x2 is set to one, or neither is set to one, our sum of weighted inputs is less than our threshold value of two, so the MP neuron output will be zero. Okay, so this looks good. These weights and threshold settings give us our desired AND gate behavior. I'll be doing a video in the near future showing you how you can implement an AND gate with an MP neuron using PyTorch. I'll also include two more examples of an MP neuron implementing an OR gate and a NOT gate respectively. This will give you a few more examples to check out. Keep an eye out for this video if this sounds interesting to you. Okay, so what is the historical impact of the MP neuron? Though quite simple compared to modern artificial neurons, the McCullough-Pitts neuron introduced key concepts of threshold-based activation and the idea of neurons as computational units. These ideas are central to the development of more advanced artificial neural networks. So now you should have a good high level conceptual understanding of the MP neuron, including its role in the history of neural networks and how it can be used to implement basic logic gates. Okay, thanks for watching. This video along with all the other videos in this playlist are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning AI. 
But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go surfing. Get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear about that. And with that, have a great day, thanks.